<laughs> this video is so funny. You know, you're obsessed with that laptop. Why don't you do something else? Like, like, read a magazine or something. Nah, I'd rather go on YouTube. Whatever. Fine. If you want to use the computer so badly, all you have to do is ask. Thank you. Well, come in. Girls. Hi, Mom. Hi. Um, listen, I have to run down to the office for a couple of hours. Will you guys be okay by yourselves? Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay, I'll be back in a little while. I left some money on the table for you to order a pizza for lunch, okay? Okay, thanks, Mom. Yeah, thanks. All right, I'll see you. I'll be, I should be home by around 7 or so. Um, if you get hungry at dinner time, then you can order another pizza or order from the deli or something. Okay, Mom, we'll be fine. All right, I'll see you, I'll see you at 7. Okay, bye, Mom. Bye. You know, I think I'm going to take a nap. Ugh, I'm so tired. How can you be tired? You've been on the computer all day. I guess my eyes are tired. Okay. Well, I'm going to continue going on, on the computer. Is that okay? Yeah, just don't make it too loud while I'm trying to sleep. Okay. Okay, let's see. It's time for me to have the computer. Lexi? Must be in the kitchen. Lexi? <laughs> Lexi, what are you doing in Mom's chair? Why are you sliding off of it? I lost my balance. Oh. Lexi, are you okay? Are you all right? Lexi? Lexi, can you hear me? Lexi! Lexi! Oh my god. What am I gonna do? Lexi! 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 Get off of me! Ouch! What do you think you're doing? I was trying to save you. I thought you were sick. You better stay down to the ground. Ow! Why are you hurting me? It's your fault. And how did we get back in our room? I put you there. Ow! What are you doing? I don't want to come back to see you. Ow! You're hurting me! Stop it! Ow! Stop! You know, I should have stayed in boarding school so I could get away from you. You're hurting me! You're hurting me. Stop it, Lexi. Oh, I'm going to finish you off. No! No, Lexi, stop. No. No. Matt, Madison? No. Madison. Madison. Are you okay? You were yelling in your sleep. Get away from me. I woke you up from a nightmare and all you could say is get away from me? Please don't hurt me. Why would I hurt you? Where am I? You're in our bedroom in our house? Oh. Are you okay? You look like totally freaked out. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I, I just had a bad dream. Yeah, I could tell by the way you were yelling in your sleep and yelling my name. What were you dreaming about anyway? It, it was stupid. It really was. Well, it doesn't look stupid. It doesn't seem like it was stupid because you're scared, you're shaking, and you're covered in sweat. Really, I'll be okay. Besides, I wouldn't want to offend you. Why would I be offended because of a dream you had? It's not like you can control your dreams. What were you dreaming about? I jumped that you were missing, and then when I found you, you started to hurt me. Like, first you collapsed, and I thought you were hurt, but then you started kicking me so hard, and, and I kept yelling, stop, stop, and you wouldn't stop. 
Did you have a cupcake before you went to bed? I managed to sneak a cupcake before, before I went on the computer and then took a nap. Oh, well, that's probably why you had the bad dream. Cupcakes would do that to you, even if you sleep during the day. Are you okay, though? Yeah, I'm fine. I, it was just a stupid dream. I, I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. It's not your fault. You just had a bad dream, that's all. Girls? Oh, Mom's home. I thought you wouldn't be home until 7. What time is it now? It's only 4. Oh. We're here, Mom. Hi, girls. Uh, we thought you weren't supposed to come back till 7. Well, I came home early because there was an emergency at work. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's gonna be okay. There was just one of the employees relatives died and so the boss my boss sent us all home oh are you all right madison you look a little scared are you concerned about my co-worker yeah i guess that's it don't worry she'll be just fine well since you guys didn't order the pizza would you like to order now sure i would love that i'm starving yeah i'm kind of hungry too all right i'll go order the pizza are you sure you're okay, Madison? Yeah, I'm fine. Really. Okay. Keep an eye on her for me. I will. You know, you should tell Mom about the nightmare you had. No way. She wouldn't understand. What makes you think she wouldn't understand? She just wouldn't. She'd just say basically the same thing you told me. It was just a bad dream. It wasn't real. Yada, yada, yada. And I know it wasn't real. I don't need to tell mom every little thing, especially about my dreams. Okay. Okay, that's it? You're not going to argue with me or anything? It's not my place to argue with you. It's mom's place to argue with you, but, you know, it's up to you. You don't have to tell mom your dream. I just thought it would help you since she works in counseling and everything. But whatever, do what you want. I'm not going to stop you. You know, maybe I should talk to my to mom. Maybe that will get it clear in my head a little bit. It's worth a try. Okay. I think I will talk to her. Thanks, Lexi. You're welcome. Okay, mom. So that's two large pizzas with everything on it? Yes. Okay. Your order should be here in 30 minutes or less. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Mom? Oh, hey, Madison, honey. Can we talk? Of course, honey. Come have a seat. So, um, Lexi, uh, Madison, what's on your mind? Well, as a counselor, you know about dream interpretation, right? I mean, you're an expert on it, aren't you? I know a thing or two about it. Do you know a thing or two about it, or are you an expert? Sorry, still shaking up. Yes, I know about dream interpretation. Why? Because I took a nap and I had a nightmare about Lexi hurting me. How was she hurting you? She was kicking me, and she wouldn't stop. And I kept screaming, stop it, you're hurting me, and she just wouldn't. What do you think the dream could mean? Well, I think it means that maybe in a way that you kicking yourself. What are you talking about? So, you know, what I've learned is that dreams, you are everything in your dream. You're the person who's involved in your dream. You're yourself, of course, and you're the objects of the dream. So I'm kicking myself in my dream? In real life, your thoughts, you want to kick yourself. And, well, I think you want to kick yourself because you were mad when, at first when Lexi came home at first. Yeah, I didn't care for that. Yeah, and you're still feeling guilty about the way you reacted. So you want to kick yourself for doing that. Really? When do I get, how do I get rid of the guilt? You need to realize that when Lexi came home, it was hard, but you and her are practically best friends now, and you got to forgive yourself 
for acting the way you did when she came home. I thought I did forgive myself. Well, it's obvious you didn't truly forgive yourself if you're having that dream. Just forgive Lexi and those dreams will go away. Thanks, Mom. I'm going to go hang out with her. Okay, but uh, the pizza should be here in about 30 minutes, so don't get too involved with what you're doing. Okay. Thanks again, Mom. You're welcome. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. So go hang out with your sister. Okay. <laughs> oh, this video is so funny. Uh, Lexi, can we talk? Yeah. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to apologize. Apologize for what? For the way I acted when you first came home. I was angry when you had to come home from boarding school. Before you came, I was angry. And when I found out I had to share my room with you, I was angry. But I'm sorry. Why didn't you tell me how you felt in the beginning? I don't know. Mom said I had to be polite to you. And I wasn't even that polite to begin with. And I'm sorry. Why this sudden turnaround? I talked to mom about my dream and she said that you kicking me in the dream meant that I was kicking myself for being mean to you. And then I'm gonna stop having the dreams if I forgive you and if I forgive myself. And I'm sorry. And I forgive you for being sent home. Well, thank you, but I thought you were already okay with it. I thought I was too, but I guess deep down I wasn't. I can understand that. I mean, for you, it was just you and mom, and now I'm back and everything's different now. And I'm sorry to put you through that. It's not your fault, Lexi. I should have told you how I felt from the very beginning, but I didn't, and I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, you hurt my feelings, but at least I know how you feel about me. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I'm really not. It's just, it's just hard for me to adjust. I know what you mean. So you're not mad? No, I'm not mad. I kind of had a feeling you were holding something in. I can't be mad at that because you didn't want to hurt my feelings. Thanks, Lexi. So we're cool? We're cool. Okay. Girls, the pizza's here. Ooh, let's get some pizza. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. Please not, don't let me have those dreams again. Please. <laughs>